Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to demonstrate how you can create two or more different pivot tables with pivot charts based on the same set of data and filter them simultaneously, giving you kind of a dashboard effect. So we begin by clicking onto a data set like the one that you can see here where we're generating revenue based off different types of properties in different regions. Then we go to the insert tab at the top of the screen and decide to make a new pivot table using the far left hand button and go ahead and make a new pivot table in a new worksheet. Then I'll click OK and I'll just set things up a little bit here on the view tab. I'll turn off my grid lines. I'll zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see in the video. And let's say that what I'm interested in here is um, what our revenue is on a region by region basis. So I'll click the checkbox for region there and then click the checkbox for revenue, giving me total revenue by region. Then I'll go over here to the drop down menu on sum of revenue and choose value field settings, giving me the ability to say total revenue by region is the title of that column right there and going the number formatting maybe making this an accounting format and clicking OK. And one last thing I'll do here is I will right click on this column full of numbers and then just tell it to sort largest to smallest so that the largest possible region values are at the top and the smallest ones are at the bottom. Now in order to make a second pivot table that is related to the same piece of information, I can go back to the original data set, go back to my insert tab at the top of the screen and choose pivot table again, but this time around I'll choose the radio button that says to put this second pivot table into an existing worksheet. Then simply click location and click down here to sheet two and let's place it let's go with cell d3 and click ok and so here i'll say that what i'm interested in is who the best managers are i'll go to the manager checkbox put in all my managers grab my revenue checkbox put that in and again go to the sum of the revenue go to value field settings call this uh, revenue by manager and choose a number formatting like accounting as well. And again, right click and sort in numeric order, largest to smallest. Now because there are so many entries here, let's go ahead and do one more step. I'll use the row labels drop down menu and go to value filters and I'll say just show me the top 10 managers by revenue. And click OK. Now these are two pivot tables side by side related to the same information and you can see how I might come over here and filter it by what type of property or subtype of property we're talking about or maybe the date the property was sold. So for example here I might click on the pivot table on the left, go to my analysis tab or excuse me the analyze tab at the top of the screen, click on insert slicer and add slicers for what the type of property is as well as the subtype and click OK. So now I have commercial versus residential. I can go ahead and stretch this out a bit as you can see and using my options tab at the top of the screen I'll push this to two columns so that commercial and residential sit side by side. And then I'll take the property subtype again stretch it out a little bit, push it to two columns of information and then squish it down a bit. But the problem is that these two uh, slicers have been added to the pivot table on the left, not the one on the right. You can see this by clicking on either of the two slicers, then going to Report Connections, and you can see there that while there are two pivot tables in this sheet, only one of them has the connection. So I click the checkbox for the other pivot table and click OK. And then I repeat the same process for the second slicer. Click on the slicer, choose report connections and connect it to my second pivot table and then click OK. And now just like this I can click on commercial 
and both of the two pivot tables simultaneously get filtered to show only the commercial properties. Click on residential and again you can see both pivot tables simultaneously being filtered down. I can click on condominiums or on single family homes or on manufactured homes and again both pivot tables simultaneously filtered.